Arm pump, it's no fun. Your arms feel like a two-year-old's, it hurts like hell and you can barely hang on to the bike. It's a common problem for all dirt riders, whether you're into motocross, extreme enduro or just trail riding. And also whether you're a pro or just setting out to learn to ride. There isn't a magic cure, but the good news is there are a pile of strategies that will reduce or eliminate arm pump. There's even a big word for it. Chronic Exertional Compartment Syndrome. Just click here if you want to stop and have a read. So in a nutshell, your muscles pump up with blood in a confined space. If the blood can't get out fast enough, your muscles start to fail. So all solutions aim at two things. One, letting your arms do less work. And two, increasing that blood flow. Body positioning, the less you hang on to those bars, the better. Your body should be towards the rear of the bike when braking or going downhill and towards the front under acceleration or in the attack position. Grip the bike with your legs. Your legs are much stronger than your arms, so grip that bike firmly to stay balanced. Also, an incredibly useful bit of bling can be these Stegs pegs, which anchor you to the bike. Most riders rave about them, but some do hate them. See our review here. Avoid the death grip. Most of us hold the bars tighter than we need to, and constant muscle contraction means less blood leaves the arm. Keep reminding yourself to relax your grip, and only tighten it when needed. A good rider doesn't try to control the bike too much, but to an extent lets the bike do its own thing and works with it not against it. Relax mentally too. A lot of motocross riders say they only get arm pump during the race, but never in practice. When that adrenaline kicks in, usually so does the death grip. Remind yourself to chill out, and remember, often you'll be just as fast riding at 90% as 100%. Exercise. This helps in two ways. In the long term, cardiovascular routines will help improve your blood flow, and toning your leg and core muscles will help you to grip the bike better. In the short term, getting your blood flowing and arms warmed up just before an event will help too. Some riders even apply warm towels to their arms before a race to get those blood vessels dilated. Hydration. Water plays its part. Scrap those energy drinks with caffeine and sugar. They won't help at all. Use electrolytes if it's really hot. And start hydrating the day before. Bike setup. We've already mentioned Steg's pegs work for some guys. Make sure your handlebars and hand levers are set up properly to make less work for your arms. Good suspension setup will also mean not needing to hang on as tightly. If you've got a cable clutch, consider going to an easier hydraulic one. If you've got a hydraulic clutch and use it a lot, consider an ultralight clutch setup like the Clake One Light -like Clutch if you have the cash to spare. Surgery. If you get extreme arm pump, an extreme measure is surgery called fasciotomy. But this is extreme. It seems to only work 50% of the time and could actually make things worse. Read more about it here. And what about drugs? Anti-inflammatories like ibuprofen or aspirin can be prescribed for pain that continues after riding has stopped. But some riders do take these anti-inflammatories before and during riding. But this isn't recommended as studies show it can cause damage to the lining of intestines during exercise. So there you go. Hopefully some or all of these strategies will do the trick. And remember, if pain is intense, see your doctor as you could have carpal tunnel syndrome or another condition.